6-0 run here, the 36ers, after what we said was a pretty sloppy start. Things have cleaned up significantly for them. Webster gets underneath. How about that pace off the dribble? Very much a work in progress in terms of learning Shamir's system and getting going. Webster took it all upon himself to score for the break. They're the kind of response that Dan Shamir was after. Just steady, got steady on, keep executing. Let's get some stops and get some scores out of our set plays. Delightful from Webster. It's been 343 games, days since their last game, and they certainly looked a little rusty, the Breakers. They sure did. Ty Webster, he's starting to get his juices flowing, though. Getting to the rim a few times. Giddy, his ability to get downhill in transition, semi-transition, and put heat on the rim. A spin from Webster. The pace has quickened in the last couple of minutes. The passing, the execution to get it in there. Now, that wasn't a bad pass by Giddy. Arms got tangled, but they just got to, overall, got to do a better job with those entry passes. Ty Webster pulls up for three. He couldn't cap off the good work at the other end. Webster takes it hard at Crocker. Look how tough he is in the open floor, Webb. Starting to really work into it. Webster has been superb for the Breakers. 23 points as the matchup of Humphreys. He'll like the look of this. Gave it off to Webster instead. Got it! Collegiate level playing in Europe, high pressure circumstances. He's not going to. Darnell Mee was the last man to do it. And that man's name needs no introduction in this league. Webster from deep. Nails it. Big hit. If they want to win this game because Isaac Humphries is having his way with him down low. Punish him. Ty. Ouch. Punish him for slipping under. You have to make the adjustment.